The unemployment rate rose in January from December from 3.5% to 3.7%. It was the second month in a row that there was a loss of jobs. So this was a surprise for economists. The market was expecting the unemployment rate to stay steady in January and for 30,000 jobs to be created. Now, one of the caveats is that December and January are very seasonal. So the Bureau of Statistics did say there was more people away at the time. You also, in December, we saw more people away because of illness, so that's still weighing on the jobs market. But it's clear that these steep interest rate rises by the Reserve Bank are starting to slow the economy, which is the whole idea. They dampen demand, people le spend less money, so businesses le need less people because economic activity is slowing. The Reserve Bank does expect the unemployment rate to, to rise. Not incredibly high, but uh, anyway, let's listen to Catherine Birch, ANZ economist. I do think that a lot of the fundamentals of the economy now are a lot stronger than what they were pre-pandemic. We still, you know, we talk about 3.7% a rise in unemployment. It's still close to a 50-year low. We've still got the close to the lowest underemployment we've had um, in almost uh, uh, since the GFC as well. Um, households are in a pretty good position in terms of balance sheets. Um, we are able to cope a bit more with higher interest rates now. We've built up a lot of savings. Um, so uh, we don't see the, the Australian economy falling off a cliff. It will be slowing down under the weight of higher rates and higher inflation as well. Um, but we're not expecting a recession to materialise in our central scenario. So, Sue, so everybody wants to know about interest rates right now, of course. How does this figure feed into what the RBA might do next? Yes, well, they could well go on pause, and certainly the market's thinking that because the Australian dollar fell. It's now buying about 68.8 US cents. So before the numbers came out, it was at 69 US cents. But, for example, uh, the economist there, Catherine Birch, doesn't see uh, a pause yet. She expects the Reserve Bank to actually lift rates to 3.85%. That will be the top rate, which of course will dramatically slow the economy down and raise the unemployment rate. So it would be interesting to see whether they pause at the next meeting and take stock because uh, there are other, you know, job vacancies are still high even though they've come off. We have seen a slowing in retail sales and this is the second month in a row that unemployment has, ha well, jobs have gone backwards. There's been a loss of jobs. Let's have a look at the numbers. So after the figures came out, the share market rose more. So it's currently up 0.8%. And that's because we saw consumer firms in particular jump. Obviously, people have more money in their pocket if rate rises are slowing down, but all sectors are higher on the ASX 200 and the All Ordinaries today, only a few sectors going down. And let's have a look at the Australian dollar, which I just mentioned. So it is buying around 68.7 US cents. It's weaker against other major currencies. So that indicates that the market thinks that there could be a pause by the Reserve Bank because of this rise in the unemployment rate to 3.7%.